Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today, we're covering how to write multiple Excel sheets in the same file with Outreach Designer. Let's get started. First of all, let me explain the workflow that we have here. It's a pretty simple workflow that reads a dataset that contains information about countries and continents. We have seven different filters here, one for each continent and we also have seven different output data tools that are configured to write seven different sheets in the same Excel file. What we want to do here is to generate a single file with several sheets containing the list of countries in each continent using one sheet for each continent. So, when we run the workflow, see what happens. We get the following error message. Unable to open file for write. Attempt to open a file that is already open. Probably at some point in your journey using Autorix, you came across this error. But what is the cause of this? The reason for this is that each sheet in the Excel file is written as its own write operation. Once the author is opening the Excel file to upload the first sheet, Excel will lock the file, making it uneditable by other process. Besides that, main shared drivers sync regularly or have a mechanism that triggers the drive to sync when it detects a file being written. This locks the file mid write and also resulting in the errors. Therefore, what we need to do is ensure that Alteryx writes one sheet at a time within the same workflow run. We have here two ways to accomplish this. Let's see the first one. When the data you want to use as the basis for creating the new sheets is in the same dataset, specifically in a column that identifies them, you can just configure the output just like that. We need to check this box here, take file table name front field and choose or prepend prefix to file table name or append suffix. So, in this way, right here above, we already have the name of the sheet. So, the value of the following field, which is continent, will be prepared to this name. So, this configuration will cause Alteryx to write one sheet at a time starting the next one whenever the previous one is finished. So, let's see if that works. When we run the workflow, we can see in the log files messages all the sheets have been written. And when we click here, we can see all the seven sheets right here. So let's see the next solution. The second way that we can do to solve this is using the block until dawn tool. We can use this tool to stop datasets from moving downstream until the last record in the set has been processed by all previous tools. In addition, this tool ensures that 
only a single output stream at a time receives the complete dataset. Subsequent streams are blocked until all the dataset records are pushed through the first stream. So what we have done here is to put three block until done tools combined to execute one step at a time. You can use the tool in these scenarios when reading and writing to the same file, use the block until done tool to ensure that the entire file is read before being read to. Or when reading to an Excel file, you can use the tool to write only to one sheet at a time, preventing write errors, which is our scenario here. But be careful when using it. Keep in mind that the block until done tool can slow down execution because it requires a large amount of memory. So, let's try and see what happens. When we run the workflow, we also can see that all the seven sheets have been written. Look. And now we can see that the seven sheets have been created according to the configuration of the first scenario, but now using the block until done tools. So that wraps up today's video on how to write multiple Excel sheets in the same file with Aldrix Designer. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted.